Hello guys, uh, before I start, uh, I just want to wish everyone a very happy uh, new year 2017 Okay, and sorry about the delay in uh, uploading the video because I was on a vacation uh, last month Okay, so be, uh, without any further delay, just uh, let's start the rest of the database parameters Okay, so so far we have seen uh, uh, like this till uh, short tip uh, database parameter and today I'll try to cover the DB heap, catalog cache, log buffer, utility heap size, and buff page. Okay, now uh, to understand uh, DB heap parameter and how it works and how it impacts the other parameters, uh, we should know uh, how what happens when we activate a database or when you load a database right for the first time. Now, basically, when you uh, activate or start the database for the first time uh, the two uh, major thing happens one um, your transaction logs get allocated now transaction logs are nothing but your uh, copy of whatever transactions you did on your database uh, those are stored in the transaction logs right uh, and if you want to do some kind of a point in time recovery you can use those logs and you can recover the database to a point in time okay um second thing would be uh, your system tables are loaded into the memory okay now uh, for logs and your system tables you need some kind of memory area to store the data right now that those areas uh, those memory areas are basically controlled by your db heap okay uh, if you see this uh, small diagram here uh, the green piece is the green box is the db heap and catalog cache and log buffer um, parameters are part of a db heap so basic basically it means like your catalog cache cannot grow beyond your db heap size so, okay so there's an upper limit uh, on what your catalog cache can grow and the same stands true for log buffer size as well okay now um, in normal scenarios what i do is i will just leave the db, db heap parameter setting to set to automatic okay so depending on the need it will grow and shrink okay and and if you want to set this value to a manual value uh, there's a thumb rule like um, uh, first uh, you need to calculate the size for the catalog cache then plus the log buffer size and and you have to allocate uh, more pages for your uh, table space level control information and your table level control information okay so when you activate the database uh, your log buffer uh, memory will be allocated and your catalog cache memory will be allocated okay apart from that there will be some certain control information about the table space where is the, con uh, the table space located what are the objects inside those table spaces and this and the same thing for the table as well the control information about the table where the indexes are stored what is the table id for that particular table log like those kind of information will be stored uh, using the db heap okay <coughs> so that's about the db heap and uh, depending on the need uh, whatever param whatever value you set for the catalog cache it's just a soft limit it's not a hard limit so for example if i set catalog cache to 5 mb and that memory is not uh, sufficient then it will uh, take uh, the memory from the db heap okay so whatever you set is just a soft limit okay now uh, coming to the uh, log buffer okay uh, now we know that uh, when we do a transaction uh, on the database it is written to the transaction log okay now uh, before it is written to the transaction log on the disk it is stored in the uh, memory area which is called the log buffer okay now uh, the two conditions at which the log will be uh, the log buffer uh, will flush the data from the log buffer to the disk okay one if the transaction commits two when the log buffer is full okay so there are two conditions when your log buffer memory will be freed up or uh, it will uh, flush the data from the log buffer to your transaction log on the disk okay and uh, catalog cache parameters uh, to understand catalog cache um, 
for example if you're doing some kind of activity against your database right now in the background whatever activity you do it is basically updating your system catalog tables as well okay so behind the screen it is accessing the system tables now imagine if you are accessing the system tables from the disk it is going to be very slow right for every query if you um, you have to access that uh, system table from your disk it is going to be slow so to avoid that what database db2 has done is like it is um, allocating one memory area called the catalog cache where all your system table information information will be stored okay uh, and when it's on the memory you know it's going to be fast right so that is the use of a uh, catalog cache okay um, uh, let's see what is the next parameter so in this case i've covered db heap catalog cache log buffer size okay utility heap size is again um, it will be used for the restore backup right uh, roll forward so those kind of utilities it will be using the um, utility heap size okay this memory area heap size uh, buff page uh, this pa particular parameter has now been deprecated uh, mostly not in use as well okay um, now what was the use of this parameter in the earlier version of db2 was like we know that uh, every database has a buffer pool right now buffer pool is the area where your actual data index all this data manipulation take place in the memory okay now if you uh, while well creating the data like for if you want to create a buffer pool and you have not defined any size for that buffer pool, buffer pool uh, that buffer pool right now that uh, particular <coughs> size will be taken by default from this place so here it is set to 1004 k pages okay so if you d don't define the size okay uh, while creating the buffer pool then it will be taken taking it from this uh, particular setting okay now this uh, particular parameter has been deprecated and uh, not in use okay uh, on my rest of the class i'll be covering all the statement heap application application memory okay thanks for watching